Welcome to chapter four. I believe this is part four. We have just finished up getting our head section done. Um, we did our background or our, or our body um, section. So now we're going to work out on our header, our nav bar, our section, and our footer. So when we're done, it's going to, our website is going to actually look something like this. All right. So let's go to our chapter four folder and we're going to open up my first web page and let's edit that in notepad plus plus there we go all right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the section to world of cats and then we're going to come up to our home page or our nav bar i'm sorry our nav bar and we're going to want this to be home, but we need to add some links in here. So we're going to type in the anchor tag, followed by href. This is our anchor tag, which sets up our link. This is our hyperlink reference. And then we're going to call this index.html. We're going to put in title equals, and we're going to call this back to home. All right. Then we're going to also put in, um, nope, that's all we need to put in. And then we're going to right click on that. So, um, so here is our hyper reference that we need to set up for our home page. Even though we call it home here, um, we need to title it index.html because that's what the browser reads. It won't recognize the home tag. And we're going to put, close out our anchor tag. So we have an opening anchor and we have a closing anchor. Then we're going to go down and we're going to hit our enter key once. We're going to set up a line element. Well, actually, we're not going to do that yet. I'm sorry. Um, let's set up our next hyperlink. I don't want to confuse you yet. We're going to call it, shoot. All right, sorry about this. Um, we're going to call this page uh, Cat Breeds. Need to rename these. Um, this is going to be, we're just going to pretend that it's about cats. And then we're going to type in, um, this is Cat Breeds. We want cat food. We're going to call this pa third page Cat Toys. The fourth page is going to be, um, we'll call this Cat Facts. There we go. So we have our pages reset up. If I go ahead and run this, um, you're going to see that that's linked. Cat Breeds, Cat So we've changed these names. If I click here on my link, it's not going to take me anywhere because it doesn't know where to go. All right, so let's set up these, these pages with our hyperlinks. And we're going to call this cat, our breeds.html. We're going to put a title in. Title tag uh, is like a screen tip. It will tell them what the happens when they click on the link. Or say to cat breeds. And then we need to close out our, our anchor tag here. And we're going to set up a hyper reference. We're going to call this food, and we'll put in a title, and then when they click on it, they're going to go to cat food, all right? And then at the end, we're going to put in our closing anchor tag, and we're going to do cat toys, or let's just put toys.html. Our title will be, and when they click on it, it's going to go to cat toys. Now let's go to the end and put in our closing anchor tag. And then our next line will be facts and title will be um, to cat facts. Again, remember these are like screen tips and I'll show you those here in a second. We're gonna save this, go up and run it. And you're going to notice that they're all linked. But as I put my cursor over them, you're seeing the little screen tips so they know where they're going. 
All right, so we have that set up, which is what we want to do. Now we're going to go up to the top and we're going to continue with our coding. The first one we're going to do is our header. So we're going to set up our header selector. This header selector matches the header HTML tag. So it's going to refer to that. And we need to set up a border. You're always going to put a border in. Um, just so you can distinguish whether it's a block element or a line element so you can see what's going on. And again, make sure you match your codes and colors with your um, web website. Let's do a background color. And again, I've already looked up these codes. That's why I know what they are. And then we're going to do text align so that what happens is whenever, whatever is inside the header will automatically center. And we know that our button tag is in um, the header, so we want that to center. So this will set up a border around the whole element. This sets up the background color, and this will center anything inside the header. So let's go ahead and save it, run it. You're going to notice now that I have this is the button is actually centered now. All right, we have our border, our red border. And I know it's going to drive you nuts, but my image is too big, so we'll take care of that in a minute. All right, so we're going to take care of our image right now. So we're going to use our image selector. And let's put in our width. I think my width is, oops, I better not forget my pixels. And then height. Okay, these were my original sizes. I'm going to save that. I don't believe it's going to, yeah, I st it hasn't done anything because um, this is the original height. And I need to shrink this down a little bit. So I'm going to put in 1600. Again, what, how am I figuring this out? I'm just guessing. Um, I'm going to run it. And if you notice, here's the end of my page. This is a little too small. So I'm going to go back in here. Let's make this like 1720. Let's see, and you get better at guessing the pixel sizes as you work through. Again, a little bit too big. So let's try. Almost. It's still overlapping on the border, and I don't want that. There we go. Oh, it's still overlapping a little bit too much. Maybe we should make that a one. Yeah, we'll save this, and then we're going to run it. <coughs> Not quite what I want. So let's just try. So I'm gonna, um, let's try. Well, let's try that. Um, it's almost there. So. Again, when you're working on these, you when you're working with clients, you want to make sure you get the best that you can get for them. Um, they're going to see detail, and that's why you need to see it first before they find it. That's a little better. Now I can see my border there, so that's good. All right, so we've taken care of their image. So let's take care of our button selector now. And again, this button selector is pointing down to our button. All right, so we're going to take care of our button selector. Let's do a background color. Remember, this background color is what goes inside the button. And then let's we're going to do a font size. And again, this font size refers to the text on top of the button, not what's inside the button. So if I go ahead and run this, I have my button centered. Here is my text and then everything works fine. Always check to make sure everything is working well. Get some space in there. All right, our next thing is um, is our nav bar. And this probably is going to be the most difficult and the hardest to figure out. We need to get this nav bar to run across our page. So we're gonna have to do this in stages and make sure you're paying attention to what they're referring to. So the first thing we need to do is set up our nav bar. Ooh. 
and the nav bar selector is pointing to this right here, so this section. So we're actually setting up the sec section. So we're going to do the background color. So we have our background color. Oops. No, I don't want to do that first. Sorry about that. We need to set up the dimension. So we're going to use a code called max width. And again, how do you pick these? You guess. And we need a min width. And again, I'm just guessing. We need a max height. And a min height. So we're going to save this. And, okay, I can't really tell anything because I don't have a border. That's another reason why we put a border. So let's get a border there. And then I'm also going to put the background color in before I check. All right, now let's check. And let's see our dimensions. So we go here. Everything's lining up good. Now, if you can, or well, if you can see, nothing is changing as far as our lists go. All right, for our um, unordered list, it's all staying the same. What's changed is the nav bar. So that's what we're applying all this coding to, is just the nav bar. The next step we have to do to fix the nav bar is that now we need to set up our unordered list. And to do that, we have to put in our nav selector and our UL selector. And if you notice that I have not put a comma between them, um, if you do that, it would separate and make this nav, this a separate selector and this a separate selector. We don't want them se separate. We want to say, hey, nav selector, point to the UL selector. Um, so we, it's not going to apply it separately. So we need to first tell it we want it to display as a table. That's important. And then we're going to do our margin um, um, right. Remember, we go counterclockwise for margins. We're going to put that on auto, and margin left on auto. And again, we want this. Um, this will just adjust according to the web, the screen, and we want to tell this to, hey, we want a table. So what's going to happen is this will probably center the table because it's the only thing inside the table. And I'm going to put in a border just so you can see what's happening. Sorry, I'm going to make this 4px. I want to make sure it's solid. And I'm going to remove it here in a second, but I want you to see the table. See how it's setting it up as a table? And here's our border. That's how you can tell this table is an inline element. It's only taking up as much room as it needs. All right, so that's the table. So I'm going to take this border off because we don't need it. I just wanted you to see that. All right, now we have to, the next step is we have to say, hey, go to the ordered list, find the li each line element, comma, and then we want you to focus on the anchor. Remember how we put that anchor tag in, the anchor tag down here? All right, so it's going to focus on that now. So first of all, we're going to put in text decoration, and we want none. We want to turn off that underline. We don't want that underline to appear. Then we're going to type in display inline. So we're telling it we want it to run across the page. So let's save this, and let's run this. And you notice now that it is running horizontally and it's expanding. So that's good. Everything's working well for right now. And also notice that um, we've turned off the underline, which is what we want. All right, the next thing we're going to do is let's set the color. And then we're going to set the font size. And again, how do I need all these? I looked up the color and font size. I'm just based on experience and you, eventually you get to just know what sizes. Um, we're going to put in Baskerville Old Face. And because I'm using more than 
um, more than one word, like if this just said Ariel, I would not need these quotation marks. And then we're going to type in ser uh, serif. And again, if this is not the default setting on the Baskerville old face, then it will just go to serif. The next thing we're going to do is put in our um, font. I'm going to put a font variant in. I'm going to I want it in small caps. Then I'm going to say font weight. And I want that to be bold. All right, let's go ahead and save it. And we're going to run it. And so now everything looks good. These are my small caps. Now you notice how they're on top of each other. We can fix that very easily by going down to our nav section in our body tag hitting the enter key, put in another line element, and we're going to put in what you call a non-break space. This will add um, spacing between the home and the bar that we're going to put in. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Then I'm going to close out my line element. And then I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to put it between each one. Then I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run it. And if you notice now, oops, I have a big error there, don't I? I have NB SP might be a good thing. I think I have to change all that. So I'm going to select this, copy it. I need to fix this. I think that'll fix it now. Then I run it. And then, if you notice now, it's set up correctly. Now, it still has the screen tips, which is what I want. But we do want that hyperlink to show up at some point. So we're going to go down at after our last UL. I'm going to hit Enter a couple times. And now we have to tell it what to do when it hovers over our text. And so we're going to type in text decoration. This is where we're going to tell it to actually put in the line. So we're going to tell it to underline it. And then we want it to change colors. All right. Then we're going to save it. Then we're going to run it. And if I put my cursor over, if you notice, it's going to change colors. All right. So the next section we're doing is our section. And we're going to put in our max width. And again, you just play around with these until you get it to work the way you want it to work. Again, my notion is because I've experienced this before that I can actually figure out how to put them in. So we're putting in our, our max height. And we're going to put in our min height. We're going to put in a border because we want to make sure we know what's happening with our borders. Again, after you get it all set, you can always go back and delete borders. There we go. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. And that's my backgrounds all set up. And let's put in some padding here. Because we want to, I'm just going to put a 10px. I'll show you what's going to happen there. If I save it and run it, it's actually taking the text off of this. Um, I notice I need to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to come down here. Max height. Let's make this 28. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. The last thing we're going to do is our footer. All right. We're going to put it text align. We're going to center that. We're going to put in our font size. Usually the footer is smaller. Then I'm going to do font weight. 
And then let's put in our border. We want to make sure we can see our border. And then we're going to put in our background color. Colors memorized by now. We're going to save it. And then that should show everything on there. Good luck. Now you're supposed to finish this up with your first web page. Thanks for watching.